Philippines ranks number one in terms of time spent in social media worldwide. 87.5% of Philippine population has access to electricity. So what if you turn on the switch and nothing happens? Nuclear energy is needed to power and solve preservation of fossil fuel resources. Our electricity is mainly capped in the consumption of fossil fuels. Coal, natural gas, and oil thermal plants constitute the fast consumption of natural fossil fuels at an alarming rate of 61.99%. Nuclear energy is from the fission and fusion of the nucleus of an atom. It generates over 10 million times the energy produced by the combustion of fossil fuels, with a total GHG emission of the Philippines at 0.33% and 54% of this came from the energy sector alone. If with nuclear energy, the emission of GHGs and a contribution to global warming will be less solved energy shortages. 65% of our energy generators come from power plants that are years or older. Electricity consumption and demand have spiked up. Several factors have also been considered as contributors to the country's energy shortage. Characterized by increase in demand, leading to increase in consumption both without and after energy. With nuclear energy, which is efficient and reliable, we are capable of generating a high amount of electrical energy in one single plant. Lower electricity costs. The DOE's latest power development plan showed that the Philippines has one of the most expensive electricity rates in Southeast Asia. Due to natural disasters, electricity prices rose by nearly 65%. With most of our power generation privatized, the Philippine power industry is faced with a big task of building new plants to meet the country's future electricity needs. Nuclear energy roughly has a stable price, since nuclear power plants have lower fuel production costs compared to burning coal and natural gas. Most importantly, nuclear power plants can be operated around the clock. So when do we turn on the switch for nuclear energy to happen? Turn 